A consumer protection aimed at retirement advisors is set to go into effect today, at least for now. The Labor Department is still reviewing the regulation and is expected to make some changes later. Kayla Tausche has more on the effect of the new rule. The so-called fiduciary rule keeps retirement advisors from favoring their commission-based products over their customers' interests. As of today, they have to abide by the spirit of the rule. Large brokerages have already made changes. For instance, Merrill Lynch gave customers a choice to move to a different platform or pay a fee. Wells Fargo offering fewer products. UBS is changing brokers' compensation to eliminate the conflict. Smaller broker dealers have made big changes. Ameriprise has dropped hundreds of funds, and LPL Financial revamped its price some independent firms have frozen assets while the rule is under review. Clients are affected if their retirement accounts, so 401ks, are managed by a commission-based advisor or in commission-based accounts. Money managers may ask customers to opt back into these accounts to ensure they actually want to be in them. The Obama administration estimated the rule would save Americans $17 billion in fees. But it will likely change again before a final January deadline. The Labor Department still reviewing it, and the department has 38 political appointments vacant that will be important here. Asset managers also are traditionally regulated by the SEC. That agency will want to say in how it's written and enforced, and the industry has requested the agency's involvement too. The wild card? How Congress tackles large-scale financial reform, and if they decide just to roll back the rule completely. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kayla Tausche. New York.